I'm Jeff Gang. I graduated from Green Corps in the class of 2011. I went through college and I was very pissed off about climate change, um, like I think a lot of people are. And I ended up just sort of for the year after college trying to, to learn organizing and work with uh, this student group all over Massachusetts. But there were a couple of problems. First was that I had to, I wasn't getting paid. Um, and I, so I was working in a coffee shop and it left me not that much energy or time to do this work. And the second thing was that we weren't very good at it. I randomly happened across a Green Corps interview at one of the campuses that I was um, like working to organize at Williams College. Um, ended up going and everything, it just clicked for me. I thought, wow, I could get paid to do this work and learn to do it way better than I have been. <laughs> I learned to be more strategic. So that's, that's what drew me to Green Corps. I went through Green Corps and I worked on five different campaigns. Um, and that gave me, like, I think a really unique experience in getting such a broad range of strategies under my belt and knowing there are lots of different ways to try to win on these different issues. Um, lots of different frames that we're going to work with, different types of people we're going to recruit, um, and different, you know, pressure strategies and arenas where we're going to try to influence decision makers. The campaign that changed the way I think the most was my first campaign. Um, I had come into Green Corps knowing that Proposition 23 in California was going to be a big fight um, and that I wanted to be working on it. Um, and so this was a proposition that was bankrolled mostly by two oil companies from Texas uh, that would have overturned essentially um, California's global warming law, which is the best global warming law we have. I got to work on a campaign with Credo um, doing voter outreach against Proposition 23. Um, for me, this really just captured, it captured why I wanted to organize. It was my issue. It helped that we won. <laughs> we ended up crushing it uh, 59 to 41. I think for me coming out of that, I just I realized much more than I had um, that there's this strong opposition out there and that they're always going to have more money and they're going to be able to set the agenda and sort of frame the discourse. And we have to go in there and organize a team of people and fight back the best way we can, which is with, with grassroots pressure. I think one of the biggest things that I learned in Green Corps is, damn it, I'm going to tell a story and I'm going to tell it with conviction and I'm going to use that to get people involved. You tell a story that that gets you fired up and if you finished giving that little speech, that 30 second blurb, and you're starting at Goosebumps, that's when you know that you told a good story, you know, that, that people are willing to get on board. Now I'm working as the coordinator of The Green Life. Um, the Green Life is a project, an organization, that was launched in 1990, um, coming off of the 20th anniversary of Earth Day. Um, it was founded with the mission of carrying on the Earth Day spirit, you know. That was one of the largest mobilizations the world has ever seen around environmental issues. Um, how can we hang on to that? How can we connect to those people? You know, the people who are really into recycling but don't think about, you know, the need to increase power to battle oil companies or something like that. Um, how can we get better at tapping into that, those people, helping them make more effective green decisions in their everyday life? And then also help them sort of connect the dots into, you know, your role not just in your life uh, as a, you know, as a consumer but also as a citizen.